The Macau Light Rapid Transit MLRT, also known in Portuguese as Metro Ligeiro de Macau is a mass transit system in Macau under construction. It will serve the Macau Peninsula, Taipa and Kotai, serving major border checkpoints such as the Border Gate, the Outer Harbour Ferry Terminal, the Lotus Bridge Border and the Macau International Airport. Although it is termed King Gui Light Rail, it is technically a light metro using people movers. Topic History Topic Conception The LRT was first proposed in 2002 by the Macau SAR government in the policy address for the physical year 2003 by then Chief Executive of Macau Edmund Ho as a method to solve the urban transport issues. At the same year, the Macau SAR government entrusted the Hong Kong Mass Transit Railway Corporation, now MTR Corporation to stage a preliminary study on a railway transport system. The original proposal was presented on 19 February 2003, and recommended the construction of an elevated light metro in two stages. The first stage extends for 17 km with 15 stations going from Portis do Cerco and the Outer Harbour Ferry Terminal to Macau Airport via the then constructing Sai Van Bridge, while the second stage would connect the airport with the Cotal Checkpoint and the East Asian Games Dome. The system would mainly cater tourists, expecting them to take 85% of the projected 43,000 daily ridership, and was due to open at 2006. The original proposal for the LRT was criticized by the public for being unable to handle the needs of Macau citizens, obstructing important views of the city, and also for being not cost-effective. Then Secretariat for Transport and Public Works Oman Long decided to suspend plans for the LRT at 15 April 2003, citing the economic downturn caused by SARS at the time. A second feasibility study was conducted in 2005 by the Mass Transit Railway Corporation, analyzing possible routes for the LRT. The second study prefers a mixed underground and elevated system for the LRT, with three separate lines one Peninsula Encirclement Line, one Macau Taipa Line, and one Airport Line. Based on the second feasibility study and public opinion regarding it, the Macau SAR government in October 2006 created a report named Detailed Research Program for MLRT that outlines a route for the LRT similar to the Phase 1 line today. The report chose to elevate all of the LRT track in Phase 1 for budget reasons, and proposed only one line that stretches for 22 km with 26 stations. The Macau SAR government, after considering the opinions of the public, called for the construction of the LRT in November 2007 after publishing their optimization program report months earlier. The optimization program report states that the Mass Transit Railway Corporation, together with an international consortium, should be tasked with the construction of the LRT. Topic: Construction starts. In October 2009, the construction of the LRT was announced by the Macau SAR government with the goal of the LRT being operational by 2013. Several changes were made to the plan, including reducing the number of stations to 21, and also to build part of the LRT running along Nam Van Lake to run underground or at surface level. However, due to the constant changes to the path of the LRT, as well as appeal from one of the tender companies, the start date for construction was delayed for multiple times, and substantial work on the LRT did not commence until 2 February 2012. In December 2010, the government announced that Mitsubishi Heavy Industries was chosen to provide the rolling stock and the system for the LRT, with a winning bid of 4.68 billion Macau Patakas. A contract would then be signed on March 2011, which would entail an order of 55 sets of two carriage rolling stock, as well as the accompanying communications and operating systems for the daily operation of the LRT. The LRT will improve transportation options between the Macau Peninsula, Taipa and Kotai, and relieve traffic congestion on roads and bridges. It will be the first rapid transit system in Macau. Site investigation work started in 2008. Main construction work began on the 21st of February 2012 in Taipa, with the Taipa section to be operating by 2019 or 2020 and Macau Peninsula section to be operating sometime by the early 2020s. Despite the official schedule, analysts did project the initial phase to not be in operation until 2017. 
In January 2018, the Secretariat for Transport and Public Works Raimundo Array do Rochario claimed that the Macau section of the LRT is not top priority, and priority would be given to the East Line, which was formally presented on the same day. Topic. Network The LRT will be a driveless rubber-tired system, similar to the Singapore LRT. The Phase 1 line will run along elevated guideways separate from road traffic. The LRT will consist of at least two phases. Phase 1 line, Macau Taipa line connecting major entry exit points at the Macau Peninsula and the Taipa Island with residential and tourist areas. It will use reserved space in the lower deck of the Ponte de Saivan, Saivan bridge to connect to Taipa Island. Phase 2 line, loop line connecting the barrier gate to a Ma temple via the inner harbour area, eventually forming a loop on the Macau Peninsula. Topic. Rolling stock The LRT will use Mitsubishi Heavy Industries Crystal Mover APM vehicles with rubber tires running on concrete tracks. Mitsubishi will supply 55 two-car trains that are fully automated driveless, and utilize a rubber-tired APM system. They will have a capacity of up to 476 passengers. The car is named Ocean Cruiser. Topic. Construction. The estimated construction cost for Phase 1 with 21 stations was revised in June 2011 from 7.5 billion Macanese Patakas about $933 million to 11 billion Macanese Patakas about $1,370 million including 360 million Macanese Patakas for studies, 4.9 billion Macanese Patakas for rolling stock and 5.74 billion Macanese Patakas for construction. The project will be financed by the government of Macau and is scheduled to take about 48 months to complete. Construction of the Taipa section of Phase 1 started in late February 2012. Six design packages have been awarded and the open tenders were expected to be published by October 2011, starting by the Taipa packages C250 and C260. January 19, 2015, the third special audit report on the first phase of the light rail transit system was published by the Commission of Audit, stating that the construction of the Macau light rail transit is delayed by 883 days. Topic: <laughs> Power source. To power up the operation of the LRT, SEM will build two primary substations. Topic. Stations Topic. Taipa Line The initial phase of Taipa Line will have 11 stations with three additional extensions. Taipa Barra Extension Norte de Kotai Extension Hengchen Extension Topic. SEAC Pi Van Line SEAC Pi Van Line will connect Taipa Line with SEAC Pi Van with an additional extension into Koloani. Topic Ponte HKMZ Shuttle Line Ponte HKMZ Shuttle Line will connect Peninsula Line, Lest Line, and the HKZMB checkpoint. Topic. Lest Line Lest Line will connect Peninsula Line with Taipa Line through Macau New Urban Zone A Zone. Topic. Peninsula Line Peninsula Line will be a line serving the eastern Macau Peninsula with an additional extension along Porto Interior. Topic. See also Transportation in Macau List of metro systems